With the exception of like masturbation, I've done nothing longer uh, than be married to my wife. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire, and today I'm talking with Eisner Award-winning writer Matt Fraction. Matt, uh, you're tearing it up right now with Sex Criminals for Image. Um, I wanted to ask you, in the most recent issue, there's this really great comparison of the need versus want mm. dynamic in a relationship. And I'm curious how much of this book is informed by your own personal experiences? I mean, a lot of it, but I think a lot of every book I write is informed by my personal experiences. It's just sort of about the filter and the lens that it all gets looked at through. There's a lot of empathy, especially in sex criminals, as sort of something is, is kind of personal and unique and, and uh, bespoke as somebody's, you know, sexuality is. Uh, wherever you are in that continuum today uh, uh, is where you are, you know, and not necessarily anybody else. So it's always a, a um, I have to, you know, it's, 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 it's just an act of writing. It's an act of creative and sort of, what would it be like if this and what if that and this guy is this, so he's going to be aware of, the, you know, it's sort of Doc, that character who had problems, who had the, the issue is very different than me. So I had to write the scene, not how I would have lived through it. But like, okay, well, how would this guy who's acutely aware of everything going on in his mind would react to this? And then this woman who not only has seen it before, but is just as smart as he is. And, and this sort of, it became a character exercise. Like, it didn't even have to be about sex. It could have been about, you know, playing chess. It could have been about whatever. Um, but that root, the, 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 the root, the seed of everything in sex criminals, of wanting things and needing things and being afraid that you are unlovable because of that is true across all of the characters. And that I can relate to. That I think everybody can relate to. Uh, because I am wildly unlovable. <laughs> <laughs> Has your uh, perspective on relationships uh, evolved, changed in any way since you started doing this book? Because this is the kind of, of book that I think would, would kind of change one's uh, mind on certain things as you write it and you, and you kind of see some of the ideas that you bring across and you say, well, wait, hmm. I feel... As, as time has gone on, as Sex Criminals has gone on, and I guess it's about three years at this point, maybe four, um, I mean, I would hope my views would change. I hope my views would change if I was only, like, writing X-Men. You know what I mean? Like, I hope you grow sure. and learn. And I've been married for, it be 15 years and like, a few weeks. Uh, I went together for 16. And, and with the exception of, like, masturbation, I've done nothing longer uh, than be married to my wife. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, honey, you didn't, you didn't teach me. I learned, all, I learned on my own. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, of course everything's changed. Um, I don't know that it's changed because of writing sex criminals, mm -hmm. but certainly I don't think any writer working on, uh, consciously working to expand their empathy wouldn't change in some way, couldn't change your relationship in some way. Mm -hmm.